assignment and study a little bit for my online class um, and usually that should take me like an hour or two hours and I spent like all day and I didn't even finish it because I was just like feeling unmotivated and I ended up binge watching like a ton of YouTube videos and like checking out like a ton of people on Instagram which like I feel like everyone does that sometimes but it ended up like I don't know like I kind of just spiraled into this like bad feeling about myself and then I had to like hello uh, so dumb and I was just like feeling down on myself for no reason and I was writing this like journal entry so I thought like maybe I'd share it with you guys a little I wrote about like binge watching all those YouTube videos and then having to like remind myself of my own experiences and like other things that I'm doing with my life and then I wrote the quote Wherever you go, you take yourself. I think that quote is something that like a lot of people don't um, understand exactly because they think, and I'm, I also act like this sometimes, that happiness is like a location and like, oh, I'd be, I'd be happier if I was doing this or if I had this and like that's why people end up buying things like on impulse to like make themselves feel instantly happy or they travel and they think like oh I'm happy because I'm traveling the thing that's wrong with that is if you are not fundamentally happy as a person you're never going to be happy no matter where you are so like if you're always looking for the next thing and you're not taking time to actively live in the moment then you're just going to spend your whole life yearning and searching for something that you need to find inside and that's kind of what i was reminding myself of and then i was texting my friend about it and i was like okay we're gonna go create something because I always feel better when I'm creating and I have all these ideas and I spent all day doing nothing instead of creating one of my ideas. So today I have like a makeup concept that I want to photograph. Um, I'm not a makeup guru. I don't want to be a makeup guru. Um, but like I thought it would be fun for you guys to kind of like see me create the process. So let's just uh, see how this goes if the end results a fool then so be it honestly if you're like into makeup or a beauty guru and you're watching this i'm so sorry for how i am disrespecting the face wasn't my intention i came in here with pure intentions this just gonna prime my face <laughs> You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing and able to do what you- I saw someone do this on YouTube, so I'm gonna do it. You want, you think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer, a busy and pretty, just making believe. Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it up. Uh, so, this is the result of my first attempt at covering my eyebrows. Some parts were more successful than others, but I think for this project, this will be more than enough. Um, yeah, I should have let the glue dry more and I should have used a more powerful uh, setting powder and a more powerful foundation, but live and learn. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Cherry Palette and I'm going to start with the color Devilish. Um, I dragged the color down 
to where my nose contour would be and it's not really what the hell <laughs> um it's not really blended perfectly because my eyebrows are a little bit in the way but again live and learn I got a darker shade of like a stub of an eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna try again I'm going into this older NARS Guy Borden palette and I'm going to be using these two colors and a little bit of this brown which isn't really there. You don't know they are not sure where this is going. I like had like a very loose concept and an even looser understanding of makeup. So that's kind of what this is. Trial and error. And I'm just here. Okay, I'm gonna lighten up that. It was a little too bronzy. Um, I'm just here to like let you know that it's okay if everything doesn't work. Whenever I don't know where I'm going with the next step of this, I just start smearing shit somewhere else on my face, so. Okay, I'm using the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm going in with the beige highlight and the yellow highlight under my eyes. Beauty gurus everywhere are she. All right, we're back with this palette um, and this brush. Pigment off that brush. All right, so I'm using privacy because um, I underestimated how dark my eyebrows are. I'm blending it. So you can kind of see part of my problem here, <laughs> as if there's only one, um, is that I didn't cover my eyebrows enough. And then I thought just like, so then my eyeshadow isn't blending, but I think we can still make this work and kind of give it like a feathery look. Um, so I just went in with the color Young Love from that palette um, around the outside edge. Boy, you look worried and maybe you should be cause this is all Yeah, so I'm going in with color Bing, uh, kind of like under my eye. Warning that I'm throwing out Cause I'm the worst player that ever will play you To make some sweet words with the girl said he Now I'm just cleaning this up because I realized I'm not really even Okay, so I'm using Bang again And I'm kind of going uh, Around the top part Okay, this is starting to like look better. Honestly, I was terrified for a second that I just like made like a fool of myself. <laughs> I say with this still on my face. Anyway, bang bang, right here. So now I'm going in with the shimmer highlight from my Lorac contour palette. Falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know. Um, and I put mascara on. So I used this mascara and then I used NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye 
and I kind of smeared it a little bit, smudged it a little bit around my lip to give it a diffused look. And then I went on top of that with the color Young Love and a little bit of privacy to further smudge the lip. So this is how we are looking now. And I'm honestly not as unhappy as I thought I would be. Yeah. I also went in on my lid with um, Juicy. So, yeah, so far. <clears throat> now I'm gonna enact my secret ingredient.